Today, we want to talk about a jet-powered black beast that has stolen sleep from advanced air defense systems worldwide. The Shahed 238 suicide drone has completely changed war equations, so stay with me until the end to find out its secret. The story started when everyone knew the Shahed 136, that loud drone moving like a moped in the sky. But Iran decided to build a much scarier and faster version, and that is how the Shahed 238 was unveiled in November 2023. It was seen when Iran's leader visited the IRGC Aerospace Exhibition, there were three black drones there that looked different from the rest. This was the first time the world met the jet-powered version, and military experts realized a major new headache was born. Now let's check out the look of this bird which seems mysterious. Its black body color is likely designed to absorb radar waves, or maybe so it can't be seen at all during night operations. This design shows that the main goal is stealth and striking hard. The most important change we see in this drone is its jet engine. There is no news of the piston engine and that famous buzzing sound. This mini turbojet engine causes its speed to increase terribly high and makes reaching the target possible in much less time. To be more precise, its speed is about 500 to 600 kilometers. That means it moves almost three times faster than its previous generation. This high speed makes the job difficult for anti-aircraft machine guns because it takes away reaction time from short-range defense systems. In that exhibition, three different models of this drone were spotted, and each one had a different nose and guidance system than the others. This shows that Iran has planned for various different missions and wants to hit a wide range of targets with this drone. The first model, which is considered the base and standard version, uses satellite and inertial guidance systems for navigation. This means, like the Shahed 136, it goes to hit fixed coordinates, only with the difference that it arrives much faster and more quietly. The second model is much more attractive because it has a radar seeker. This model is built specifically to hunt enemy radars and defense systems. It tracks enemy radar waves and hits the radar itself, which is a capability vital for suppressing enemy air defenses. And the third model, which has an electro-optical camera in its nose. This feature allows the operator to see the image until the last moment and lock on to moving targets like tanks or cars, which increases impact accuracy significantly and is more precise. Let's talk a bit about its body material and construction technology. Composite materials and radar absorbers are likely used in it. Since the jet engine has heat output, it needs to be more stealthy to stay hidden from thermal radars and missile systems. Of course, this jet engine brings a negative point with it, too. Jet engine fuel consumption is much higher than old piston engines. That's why this drone's range is likely less than the Shahed 136. Analysts say its range might be around 1,000 kilometers, which is still a lot. The warhead weight of this drone is also considered a very important topic. It probably carries the same 50 kilogram warhead as the Shahed 136. This amount of explosives is enough to destroy buildings and equipment, and when it hits with jet speed, the destruction becomes much greater. You might ask how this drone is launched from the ground. Exactly like its big brother, it launches from a pickup truck or platform. A booster rocket ignites first to lift the drone up, and then the main jet engine turns on and accelerates. Economically, you should know that this drone is more expensive. The jet engine and new guidance systems have raised its price tag, but it still ends up being much, much cheaper than cruise missiles, and this makes it possible to fire them in high numbers. The main technique for using these drones is the swarm or hive attack. Imagine 10 of these coming at you with jet speed. 
even if air defense manages to hit seven, three will get through, and those three are enough to destroy the target and cause damage. Previously, Ukrainians shot down Shahed's with machine guns and Gepard anti-air because their speed was low and they were easily tracked in the sky. But the Shahed 238 is so fast that machine guns can't intercept it and expensive missiles must be used to shoot it down. Reports have come out saying this drone was tested in the Ukraine war. Even wreckage has been found that is said to belong to this jet model. If this is true, it means Iran has passed the operational testing phase and has understood the strengths and weaknesses of this bird in real fields. Another interesting point is that this turbojet drone has a different sound. It has a loud, continuous whistling sound that creates fear and terror. In modern wars, the psychological effect of a weapon is very important, and hearing a jet sound getting closer scares the soldiers. Mass production of this drone is also one of Iran's winning cards, because its structure is simple and can be assembled very quickly. This means in a long war, Iran won't face an ammunition shortage, and can constantly send new waves of attacks toward the enemy. The navigation system of this drone has also been heavily upgraded and hardened. It is much thicker skinned against electronic warfare and enemy static. New antennas installed on it show that it has become anti-jamming, so it can find its path even in electronically polluted environments. The combination of Shahed 136 and 238 in one attack is a defense nightmare. Slow, cheap drones keep radars busy and tired out, and then fast jet drones arrive to strike the final blow. This combined tactic makes defending difficult for any army. The future of these drones is moving towards becoming smarter and more autonomous. Maybe in the future, they can find targets themselves using AI without needing anyone to control them from a distance, which would create a huge shift in the global drone industry. In the end, I must say Shahed 238 was a huge technological leap. It showed that Iran is not just a copycat and has creative engineering. This drone is a powerful tool in the hands of Iran's armed forces, which has changed the balance of power in the region and world. Thanks a lot for sitting through the video and listening up to this point. If you like this style of military and technology videos, definitely hit that subscribe button and smash the like guys. Tell us in the comments which drone you want us to review next.